today's fun news, editing news stories. All right, from the news and updates section of the homepage, we have these news that we're pulling into the page and we're filtering them by featured. And if we click on one of these, going back to the original designs, we have this landing page for all the news stories and we have this individual page. Jumping back over to the individual page, this is the page here and then here it is uh, in edit mode. Now, one of the things I like to do or I've done with this particular one is that if you just drop in an image, it's going to fill up the entire page. And so I've added some spacers because it just gets a little bit too big. And uh, 1500 by 1000 uh, aspect ratio, same for all, will work the best. And then the first part is uh, just kind of like a short description or whatever the short description will be that kind of lead in the, into the story. And then I've got this optional gallery that's off to the right. And, you know, when you're creating the gallery, it may want to create there and be really big. And then you just got to adjust it if you are creating one. But um, really easy to add images and change the order and even add some titles and subtitle descriptions. So we just do that. And then uh, down here we have this newsletter block where you can just, you know, we're going to collect some email addresses and then a summary of the same, all these news things. But we are filtering by the category of whatever this particular article is categorized under and save that. So that's, that's how we're doing that. And then in the design, we have this featured story. Then we have the articles then we have this navigation and I've done everything in the sense that this is the actual news page and the news page itself that collects all the news. It's got its own layout and you've got some limited control. Um, but it's probably the easiest to manage from an editing standpoint. And the conversation I've had with other clients is that if we're going to say the performing arts or the homepage, the news that we're showing on every one of these key landing pages is contextual to the page and to whatever the visitor is thinking about. And what we felt on this other site is that's really super important to deliver news primarily. And I think that, yeah, they opted to take news out of the top navigation and put it just in the footer because they really wanted to get people to get to the news through the landing pages. And so we had the same discussion is that do we want to put the extra effort in and trying to feature something up here when in fact anything that's going to be on the top of the list is going to be whatever the latest articles that have been added. And then of course we have this navigation which is super easy to I want to see all the featured, I want to see Jewish life. So we just click through that and then get back to the page. And again that's due to the fact that if I go here on go to news and if I go back to pages see we're on the news now before I click on there and get all the news on the left even if I have that but I'm on the news home pages I can edit what's called an intro I can manage these posts but really that's just getting it's just editing a different way that you could get to through here but up here you have this intro option and we can put content up here we can even have an image background behind there but the image is not I'd rather the images of the current stories be standing out so I have a tendency not to put a top image on there if we did have a featured story that could be interesting, but I, again, for the reasons I've stated, I'm not sure what the benefit is, but we do have this tag cloud and any new categories that we add will automatically show up in here. And so that that's how that works. And they're done by alphabetically. And then, so when it comes to editing the news stories, the best way to go about that is if you go to a post and let's say we edit it, go to settings, then down here, duplicate it. And when you duplicate it, you have copy in there and then you just want to change your title, swap out your image, change your content. Um, you can delete this gallery or just even edit these and then delete all the images and put new ones in. Um, your newsletter block is, is all set. It's probably good if we knew ahead of time since we're going to be duplicating these, what the email address that this should be going to. But I don't anticipate having so many that we can't jump in and pop those all in or have it the site owner, which we could set up as well. And then this, you'll, you may change the category of what the filtering is to something like uh, performance arts, right? And then you could, that's how you could set that up. So that's it. That's how you duplicate these and um, how we edit the uh, news stories. <laughs>